Okay. So, uh, Fitz, I think we should get together. No. Oh. Out by 16 or dead in the scene, but together forever. United against life as we know it. Oh, she's pretty. If I wasn't here, would you eat her? Poor bee. I'm growing up, and obviously you're not. Ah! Oh, my God. You think I want to go back to being nobody? So tonight we're going to be talking about one of my all-time favorites. It's called Ginger Snaps, and it came out in 2000. It's about, well, ginger snapping. Which is what I feel like doing most of the time when there's humans around. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't think this was wine, did you? <laughs> it's not. Anyway, Ginger Snaps is about Ginger and Bridget, their sisters. There's a beast roaming around town and, well, the beast finds Ginger, attacks her, and she becomes ultimately what the beast is. A werewolf. The transition is slow, and the story is bloody. There's a lot of murder, a lot of killing, and a lot of werewolf badassery. Not to mention that it's a Canadian film, which I happen to find quite fantastic, because I am Canadian as well. Basically, it's one of my all-time favorites because it has a female cast and a female lead, and you get to see a woman really rip apart quite a few people. So I really do recommend Ginger Snaps. It's excellently acted by Catherine Isabel and Emily Perkins. And it's a must-have for Halloween, simply because of the werewolves in it. Although we're supposed to be mortal enemies, myself being a vampire and them being werewolves, I can look past it with this film. So please, check it out. I dare you. I may look obese, but I'm not, I swear. 